Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Ruby, I live in New York City and this is my lifestyle channel. So if you haven't joined the family already, please be sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. Our next goal for this channel is to hit 7,000, hopefully by like the end of March. I post new videos three times a week so there's always new content to binge and it would just mean the world to me if you decided to join. For today's video, we have a very OG, like very old school YouTube video, but one that I'm very excited for and one that I like to kind of do an updated version version of every year or so and I actually recently got requests for an updated version of this video basically by the title you already know what it is but we're gonna be doing a what's on my iPhone I use my phone for a lot but I like it to be a space that isn't super cluttered and super overwhelming so I honestly just kind of like to have the bare minimum what I need to kind of get through my work days and like, you know, social life. And so even though honestly, I don't think that I have the most exciting phone layout and apps, like by any means, you guys always like seeing these. And so since the last one, there's definitely been some new things that have been added to my phone. So I thought, okay, let's just do an update of what's on my iPhone. Also, I don't know if you can see, but literally right here, you might be able to see her little ear. My puppy Dakota is sitting right next to me while I film. So if she makes some surprise appearances, just roll with it. I mean, she's super cute. So I know that you guys won't mind. Before getting into what's actually Actually on my phone let's go over which iPhone I have and as well as my case so I have the iPhone 12 Pro Max I was potentially going to upgrade this year even though I've only had this phone for about a year but I decided that I would rather get a new laptop first and I'll probably get whatever iPhone comes out later this year content creation is a huge part of my job and also what I do with some of my clients so it's very important to me to always have a great phone with a great camera to be honest I still really love my 12 Pro Max um, and so I'm kind of okay that I like didn't upgrade so quickly, but depending on the upgrades that they make with like the next iPhone, I think I might finally just kind of, you know, make the purchase. I get questions all the time though, like Ruby, what do you film your TikToks with? Your camera quality is so good. I literally just film it with this. But anyways, that's enough about the phone. I have it in the gold color. And then my case is from Casetify. You guys know that's where I literally get all of my phone cases. I actually recently just got this one because I love this like white, kind of like off white color that they have for their customizable cases. But they do get dirty. And so I find that you have to replace them like every year or so. And so I recently ordered this one. Um, um, it's just like the plain off-white case and then in black almost kind of like handwriting it says Ruby this is going to sound sponsored but I promise it is not in any way I would absolutely recommend case to five cases they're all that I purchased for the last few years and while they are a little bit more on the expensive side I just think that they're fantastic so now let's get into what's actually on my iPhone okay I guess Dakota's going away now <laughs> first of all let's just take a look at the adorable uh, like screensaver that I have on my lock screen. This is from a photo shoot that Kevin and I did back in August and it's seriously one of my favorite pictures. But anyways, you open it up and on this first screen, it's pretty boring, pretty basic. Um, just a lot of the apps that come like pre-installed on the phone. So I'm gonna go through these really quickly. I have messages, calendar, photos, camera, the clock, the weather, the iTunes store, the app store, you know, like all those basic apps that come um, already pre-installed, but these are the ones that I would say that I use the most that like come automatically on the iPhone. And then I have two medium-sized widgets um, on this page that I actually customized off of the app Widgetsmith, which is something that you install on your phone and then you can do like custom little widgets with different colors. So I have one in the left-hand corner that just always has the date in like really big bold font. <laughs> and then I have one in the bottom right corner that is me and Kevin's shared calendar. And so whatever event is like coming up next on the calendar it will show on that widget I didn't have anything major planned on today's calendar so it's just showing the next event which is Kevin's shift at work that he's currently doing actually from home because he's working remotely today and then obviously at the bottom here I just have uh, the phone app Safari my mail and my music so on this next page we have a little bit of everything starting with the social media apps that I use all the time up first obviously we have Instagram where would I be without Instagram um, feel free to follow me it's one of my goals for 2022 to definitely grow this a little bit more because it is one of my like smaller social media accounts is like Instagram and Twitter have the least amount of followers for me speaking of which right next to that I have Twitter then I have Snapchat. I feel like honestly, and let me know if I'm the only person who does this, but I feel like the only reason I still have my Snapchat 
is to read like the news articles every single day. Next to that, I have Facebook, which honestly I just use for like personal use. Then I have YouTube, which we love YouTube. I feel like honestly, I watch more YouTube than I do TV or Netflix. And then next to that, we have YouTube Studio, which is a huge tool for me, very important, especially being a content creator on here. This is basically like the YouTube Studio that you would see on your desktop, but it's just an app for the iPhone. So I have all of like my previous videos. I can check in on analytics. I can respond to comments from you guys, which is really important to me. I try and respond to as many as I can as soon as I get them. Next to that, I have Pinterest, which is actually an app that I use quite a lot for various different things. I feel like last year and obviously leading into this year, I've really just noticed the power and the inspiration that Pinterest can kind of give you. I come on here for honestly a lot of different things like nail inspo when I'm about to go to the salon, workout stuff, outfit inspiration. I recently got into art journaling. You guys know that. So I like always see inspiration pictures for that. I use Pinterest a lot to get inspiration for like different flat lays and stuff too. Um, and also just like different ways to shoot my short form content, so like my TikTok content. So right next to that, I guess this actually isn't a social media app. I don't know why I've always kept this one kind of like with the other social media apps, but I have Shazam, which I truly use all the time. This is one of the greatest apps ever. Literally anytime I hear a song and I wanna know what it is, you just turn on the Shazam app, you press this button, and then it will tell you what the song is. It'll take you to it on Apple Music. I feel like I use this all the time, especially working at Solid Core because the instructors have the best playlist seriously and so I'm always like what are you guys playing and so I'll literally just hold my phone up and it tells me and then from there I'll like make my own gym playlist or I'll just find like really great songs next we have TikTok which you guys already know my love for this app and the love for the community that we have built on there if you guys didn't know I started creating TikTok content pretty late in the game I literally just started last March but we've already grown to almost 20,000 followers which is truly insane I upload videos there every single day it's usually multiple videos a day like three to four so if you want additional content from me or just another place to follow me I would definitely recommend TikTok but I also just have so much fun like scrolling through the for you page you guys know how easy it is to get lost on that app and literally spend hours just like scrolling next I have the Starbucks app I feel like the only mornings that I typically go to Starbucks at least recently are the mornings that I work at Solid Core because it's too early for me to really make breakfast for myself otherwise I have to get up super early so I'm like you know what I'll just order Starbucks next to that we have Netflix and then I have this little folder here that is my photography folder so these are the three apps that I typically use when it comes to editing my Instagram content um, it just kind of depends on what photo I'm specifically editing I have VSCO and Lightroom those are where I have all of my pre presets so how I kind of make sure that everything is like color graded similarly and then I have Facetune and I do just want to say that I do not like Photoshop my face in photos I typically use Facetune to brighten up the background of a photo blur out the background or if I just have a really bad like breakout that I need to conceal a little bit more but I don't use it to like drastically alter my face or my body I think that that can be super damaging for other people to see on social media but for certain things and when used in moderation it's definitely a really good app to have I have Google Maps next to that I have dream days which is this really cute little countdown app where I put like milestones that I want to hit or really fun things coming up right now I just have um, like the day that I want to hit 25k on TikTok by like ideally and also my 23rd birthday I always have a countdown to my birthday because that's fun I have Dropbox which I use a lot for my business and sending files back and forth I have Chase which is my bank Amazon we love Amazon podcasts this is a big thing for me I absolutely love listening to podcasts I feel like I always have one in my airpods when I'm like walking through the city okay so up next I have this little folder here called finance and you might be thinking Ruby why didn't you put your chase app in your finance folder and honestly it's just because I like to have my banking app somewhere front and center where I don't have to search for it but everything else finance related is in this folder so I have Venmo and PayPal which is how I receive payments for both like you know friends paying me back for things but also business payments at times and then I have Acorns and Robinhood which are my two investment apps um, you guys know I am a big 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 believer in investing from a super early age I contribute weekly to my investment funds and honestly that's just a way to make sure that my future self is taken care of these are the two apps that I use at the moment and honestly like they're just super easy they work really well um, and so they're what works for me this next folder right here is called my New York folder so they're all like kind of New York City themed apps I have today ticks which is when it's not a pandemic how we buy tickets to go see Broadway shows I really recommend this app they have some of the best 
prices for shows they make it so easy to just like purchase and pick up right before the show can't recommend them enough backstage this is one of the apps that I use um, to submit auditions or when my agent pitches me for a project I have uber honestly guys I really like never use uber if anything I use uber eats like more often than the actual car service typically I try and just take the subway or walk if I can, which is usually like always an option living here. I have ZocDoc. This is how I book all of my doctor's appointments. If you guys are looking for an incredible app, again, not sponsored, I just love this app. Could not recommend this enough. It's literally, you put in like your insurance card, your information, what kind of doctor you're looking for, and it will show you everything that's in your network. That's how I have found all of my doctors here in the city, and I've been with them for like multiple years now. It is such a good app. They always have like tons of reviews for each doctor, so you feel like really secure when making an appointment. And then I have the NYS wallet app, which has my vaccination card like saved in it because here in the city you have to show your vaccine card to pretty much do anything which honestly makes me feel so much safer and so much better. I've been vaccinated and boosted so all my information is stored in that app. Then I have this little folder here called business and bills. Not anything very exciting. Uh, building link which my building uses for kind of everything. You can pay your rent through the app. You can put in like work orders. Um, if you're selling anything and you want to know if anyone in your building wants it you can put the like the no Notice there and then cam scanner that's how I scan all of like my receipts and anything that um, I need to hold on to for like tax purposes or just for my records I have the fitness app for my Apple watch um, which obviously again is something that I use every single day haven't done a lot of moving yet today I'm not working out until the evening so for right now the numbers are looking pretty low but it's fine um, next to that I have clubhouse which is the only social media app that I keep lower on my screen and it's honestly just because I don't use it as much anymore it's crazy how big clubhouse was back when we were all in like full isolation and we're like literally never leaving our house now I feel like it's definitely not as popular but I still definitely enjoy listening to rooms every now and then I am not like a game player on my iPhone I never have been I just feel like I don't know if I have free time where I'm just kind of scrolling on my phone I'd rather one be on a social media app or I would just rather do something else and like get off my phone but there is one game that I really love it's kind of mindless it's very like calming for some reason and that is bejeweled so I have that on my phone. I don't play it a lot. Typically I'll play it like if I'm doing a face mask at night and like waiting for it to like do its thing or if I'm waiting at a doctor's office. It's basically kind of like a match three game but with like gemstones. My mom's been playing it literally since I was so young. Okay and then as far as the last page that I have here on my phone this is kind of like just a little bit of everything. This first app here the MIPC is set up to me and Kevin's security camera in our apartment just that we can one check in on Dakota when we're not home but I feel like it's also always good to have. This little folder here called extras is everything else that was automatically installed on my iPhone that I just don't use. I have like the actual Apple Watch app and then I have Spotify and Spotify Artist. Um, just so that one, I can like play music on Spotify. I don't use it a ton, but I do occasionally. And then Spotify Artist, which is how I check on stats for songs that I've released that are on Spotify. I have two other food apps. These are ones that I definitely don't use as much, but I still have them on my phone because it's good to like gain points and stuff when I do go there. I have Sweet Green and I have Duncan. Two very different things, but both very tasty. <laughs> I have the Citizen app, which you guys, I cannot recommend enough. Um, if you live in New York City, it's really good to have. It basically just keeps you informed on any sort of crime, police activity, emergency things that are happening in the city. I know that it can be really scary to think about that stuff, but it's really good to just always be aware and be alerted when things are happening around you. Again, just to stay as safe as possible. I have this folder here, which is called Fitness. Um, and these are all my fitness apps that I use. So I have SoulCycle and Solid Core, which are the two studios that I frequent the most. Um, but also, if you guys didn't know, I do work at Solid Core, so I always like having the app on my phone to like double check the schedules. I have 5k runner which is basically like the couch to 5k app um, I have never really been a runner and I don't have any intentions on being that but I do want to get a little bit more confident on the treadmill and so I recently downloaded that app to help me with that fitness goal and then I have the move with us app which is what I'm currently using um, as far as like my new workout program when I'm not at soul cycle or solid core so this is where I basically 
program my gym sessions and my weightlifting sessions. I really love this app. I feel like for all that you get, the price is definitely worth it. I don't use it for the meal planning or anything like that, so ignore all of this information here as far as like my meals, but I do use it for the actual workouts and I love it. Okay, then I have this Namely app that's literally just how I clock in and out for solid core headphones. This is the app that my Sony headphones use to connect to my iPhone. Libby, again, such an amazing app this is basically a digital library app so a lot of times if I can I like to rent my books for my Kindle rather than purchase just because you know it's a lot of money to like constantly buy books but with the Libby app you can literally check it out just like a library and it automatically goes to your Kindle or I believe you can also read it on the Libby app as well you do have to have a library card in order to gain access to this app so I just signed up for a New York City library card or I've had one for a really long time but I put it into the Libby app and then I got access to everything if you're a big reader like me who doesn't want to constantly like spend money on books when you like blow through so many in a month I could not recommend this app more I have have this app right here that's called brand ambassador that's set up to a couple different brands that I work with in terms of tracking like affiliate codes and payments and lastly but certainly not least we have the notion app now I'm gonna talk just briefly about this because I actually have a video coming out very very soon about how I plan and organize my life working with multiple clients being a content creator like how I organize and plan out my content and my ideas and this is a big big way that I do this I I absolutely love Notion. I just got into it like at the end of last year. Honestly, from TikTok, I was looking for just better ways to organize my content, not only for my personal channels, but also like organizing content for my clients. And this app is incredible. So right now it's opened up on one of my personal like Notion folders. This is for my YouTube channel and my content calendar. Yeah, it's great though. And then I also have like my TikTok content organized on there stuff for the other clients that I work with. But again, more will be coming very, very soon. I completely forgot to mention this, by the way, the background that I have for my actual like not the lock screen but i guess the home screen um it's just a vision board that i made actually if you guys watched my kind of like prepping for 2022 vlog you would have seen me make this but yeah here's what that looks like i actually made it on procreate um and i took like tons of pictures from pinterest again with like the inspiration but there you guys have it that is everything that i currently have on my iphone i really hope that you guys did enjoy this video i hope it just gave you a look into kind of what I use in both my personal life but also my business. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and again, click that subscribe button down below. We are trying to reach 7K. That is the next goal here for this channel. Be sure to follow me on all of my other social media networks. You guys know the drill. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Clubhouse. Check out my Amazon shop. Uh, just check out the description box for tons of different links and things that I think that you guys would enjoy. I love you all so much. I hope that you all are staying safe, happy, and healthy and I will talk to you guys again very, very soon in my next video. Okay? Bye, everybody.